MakeCom is a visual integration builder for businesses. Today we will tell you how to connect our WhatsApp API in this service to any application. Go to the link of our integration, click on Install button and select your organization account. Once we are on the dashboard, let's immediately make sure that our app is indeed installed and available. Now let's go to the Scenarios section and create a new one. Let's build an example of a simple bot. First, let's create a trigger that the bot will respond to. In the toolbox, let's pick WAPI Cloud among the applications through search. We provide different triggers and actions. You can explore the others on your own. Now let's take the trigger for receiving a new message as a basis. You will need to connect a WAPI channel with a connected phone number. Go to the page of your channel and copy the token. Paste it in and wait for the connection. When everything is ready, you will get a unique webhook address. However, in our case, you do not need to do anything yourself. We have already automatically saved it in the settings of your channel. Let's check it out on WAPI Cloud. Let's add a service that will help our bot to process the information, for example, checked. This will introduce AI into your automation. We relay a question from a customer, add our prompt with instructions, get an answer from the AI and send that answer to the customer. The perfect assistant for the business. Now, after getting the information from Chat, we need to send it to the person who wrote to our bot. To do this, let's create a new action, send message. Here we will need to either connect the channel again or select an existing connection. Let's make sure that the channel is connected. In the text content field, what we will write to our user embed the response from chat and in the phone number field, we specify the phone number of the user who wrote to us. This value is stored in the chat ID parameter. Now we need to take into account one important fact. At the moment, the trigger is configured for an immediate response. However, this reaction will occur with any message, even outgoing messages. To prevent this from happening, we need to add a condition for the trigger that it should react only to incoming messages. To do this, we add a check for from me parameter equal to false. Let's make sure that everything is set up correctly and now let's see how it looks on the phone. Let's turn on active mode to our scenario, thus launching the bot. And let's write to the phone number and see how it reacts.